So last week we looked at how to edit an in shot. We talked about how to put your clips in order. We talked about how to add transitions. Let's play with some music right now. I've edited the uh, video of just my apartment down and let's see what we've got. So I hit play. The first shot is one of the longest. And then remember, as soon as we get to the bunny pen, in this case, I went to the lamp. There's not much going on right here, so this is short. Here's a shorty as well. If there's no movement, if there's not a lot of excitement, five to seven seconds on screen is long enough for us to get the hang of it. But then every now and then, I like to add some camera movement in, like with this shot, so you can see two cool lamps and a big wicked looking plant I got. And if it's something cool like that lava lamp, don't be afraid to get your camera closer to it. One thing I always say, don't zoom in. Think about just taking the camera closer to what you're looking at. That's called a dolly. That's when you move in closer to something. But these short little shots where nothing moves, they're short so you don't get bored with it because you want to move on. You want to show different parts of the thing you're looking at. But sometimes you want some camera movement like family photos like this up on the wall. And then one last pan to show the photos in the living room that we never saw before. And I'm going to use this in, I guess, a documentary, a news type thing I'm working on later. But that is the shots of my apartment. Let's talk about how to edit for audio. See the button says volume? If I click it, I'll see all my shots at the bottom. I'm going to put some background music, but my refrigerator is really noisy. So I want to show you how to turn down the volume from your camera so you don't hear something. If you want to mute what's going on, but you want to see the picture. Once you hit volume, you can click on each image. You can see I've already turned the volume down to zero, but this one I haven't, right? So I grab that slider with my finger, move it down to zero. I want to turn down the background volume so you don't hear my fridge chugging away and you don't hear my air conditioner. Just take each of them, turn the volume down to zero and click on the check mark. Now I want to find some music to go with it. So let's go back to the beginning because I want the music to start with the first shot. So I'm going to put that playhead, and the playhead is the white line that tells you where you are in the movie. I'm going to put the playhead right where I want the music to start. And then what am I looking for? Hmm, there's one called music. Sounds good to me. I click that button. I have three choices. I can do music, I can do sound effects, or for record, you can do voiceover. You can add narration to the video when you're done. It's rather swish, but let's go with the music and see what we got. You'll just have to search through and see what you can find. I'll find the one I want, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, I've looked through the menus. Beats and Feelings, is that the one? Yeah, it looks like Things Happen is the one I like. So I click it, and to use it, click the download, and then click Use. And let's see um, how it looks. Kind of laid back blues. If you like it, press that check mark. I want it to fade out when the video is done. Now, if you look down on the bottom right, you'll see this video is a minute 25. So it's meant to be short and sweet. with the picture. 
pictures of my family and my kids because that's the most personal part, right? Yeah. Now I want to stop the music when the video fades out. So if I click on music, will it take me back? Yeah. So if you see how that music goes on way past the end of the video, I'm going to click on the song. What if I just hit split? Yeah, that'll work. Notice the part that's after the video is done is highlighted. What if I hit delete? Yeah. So then I'm going to click on the music itself. Let's fade it out. Isn't there a slider called volume? Yeah, I think there is. So let's do like a three second fade out. You gotta look for it. Eh, close enough, 3.1 seconds, yeah, that's fine. So how does the fade out sound? Let's check it. That'll work for me. Click on check. So, how do you save your video once it's done? You see the box up in the right-hand corner with the arrow? It's like an upload arrow. Click it. And then do we want to save it? Yes. Right now, if you want to, you can change the resolution. If you want to make it 4K, uh, sure, I'll do that. Frame rate, I'll leave it where it is. But click Save. And let's see how long it takes to download. So that's how to add music to your video. That's how to render it so it's a finished video put together all as one piece instead of your individual shots. Because our next step is to download it to your phone gallery and then you can upload it to Google Drive and share it with me and I can grade it and stick it on YouTube. That's all I got. See you next time. Bye-bye.